This is Drax, a coal-fired power plant in England. The size of two Manhattan Central Parks side by side. This machine puts out almost 4,000 megawatts of power, enough to light up 5 million homes. This new style coal burner has found a way to process and burn an old style fuel. And it does it so efficiently, it's now among the cleanest mega coal plants in the world. Let's see how it works. Drax burns up to 36,000 tons of coal every day. That's 26 train loads. The trains dump the coal into giant hoppers. They slow down, but never stop. Every month, they dump enough coal to fill a 70,000-seat football stadium. But Drax doesn't burn chunks of rock. It's not explosive enough. So it converts the coal to dust. A network of conveyors sends the raw coal to these pulverizing mills. Each mill has 10 one-ton steel balls packed together on a track. Coal drops into the mill through here, and the ring of balls crush the rock. A single pulverizer makes 36 tons of coal dust in an hour, and Drax has 60 of them. The coal dust is now an explosive fuel, lit up by propane and oil burners. This coal dust and air mixture burns at over 2,000 degrees Celsius. Each boiler is a mega kettle with flames five stories high. 10 stories above the flames, inside a network of steel tubes, Water transforms to high-pressure steam, hot enough to melt lead. Drax is now ready to generate some serious electricity. The steam heads to the turbine hall. The turbines are housed in six units, each the size of a locomotive. Inside, five steam turbines. Each spins a drive shaft connected to a generator. When the steam hits the turbines, its explosive pressure spins the blades at 3,000 RPM. The blade tips travel at one and a half times the speed of sound, pumping out a million horsepower. That's the same as 6,500 passenger cars. So, burn coal, boil water, make steam, and spin 300 tons of stainless steel at Mach 1.6 to create 23,000 volts of electricity. Voltage measures how powerfully electrons flow through a wire. And Drax needs much more than 23,000 volts to get power to its millions of customers. To ramp up its voltage, which helps electricity travel great distances, you need a transformer. Drax runs the 23,000 volts through a series of copper wire coils, each wound around an iron core. That creates a magnetic field. Power jumps from one coil to another. When it goes from the looser coils to the tighter ones, the voltage increases. The transformers at Drax take the 23,000 volts from the turbines and step it up to 400,000. Which is great for the national grid. But what about this stuff? Burning coal is dirty business. It belches out harmful gases that cause smog and acid rain. Drax captures 90% of these toxic emissions before they hit the atmosphere. Smoke blows into these electrostatic precipitators. 
toxic particles cling to these metal plates like fridge magnets as the smoke passes through. But that filtered smoke still contains sulfur, the culprit in acid rain. So before it's sent to the smokestack, it's cleaned again. Every week, 10,000 tons of limestone is crushed into powder and mixed with water to form a slurry in this giant blender. When smoke is pumped through the slurry, sulfur is chemically locked into it. The resulting combo makes 750,000 tons of gypsum every year. The stuff that makes drywall and plasterboard. There's one last problem. The power plant still has huge amounts of steam to deal with. Once it's done powering the turbines, the steam needs to get back to the boilers for reheating. But first, it needs to turn back to water. So the steam tubes are cooled by an outside source, a heat exchanger that uses river water. Drax uses 160 million liters of it every day from the river Ouse. But while cooling the steam tubes, the river water heats up to the boiling point. To protect the local ecosystem, it has to be cooled before being returned. Enter the cooling towers. Drax has 12, two for each boiler. The base of each one could hold the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral. The heated river water is piped into the 20-story towers, then drops through tightly woven plastic and turns to a fine spray. As heat rises, the towers draw a cool draft from the bottom and up through the falling droplets. The cooled water drops into ponds at the base of the towers and releases back to the river cleaner than when they took it out. 36,000 tons of coal burnt up in a day, recovering most of its toxic emissions. This machine has always been powerful, but recent innovations have turned it into one of the cleanest plants of its size in the world. <laughs>